Hi, I'm Brian Haiti, Production Manager at New West Knifeworks. When coronavirus hit, we shut down, just like the rest of the country. But our online sales continued, and eventually it was time to get back to work. We spent three weeks figuring out how to make our workplace safe for our employees to return to. We're looking at this as if you have the virus and need to protect the rest of your coworkers, or if your coworkers have the virus, how to protect yourself. We've set up our production facility to limit the number of employees at any given time. We've created a system to limit the touching of surfaces. When our employees show up at work, we're asking them to leave their outerwear in the car. We're gonna clock in on our phone. We've gotten rid of any common area touchscreen devices. As we approach the building, we're gonna clean our shoes in a bleach solution and use the foot opener to open the door. Once we enter, we're going to immediately use hand sanitizer in case we have anything on our hands from outside. We'll put on our coveralls. If we're hanging any clothes, we'll make sure they stay separate from everyone else's. Then we'll wash our hands thoroughly with soap and water and put on a fresh pair of nitrile gloves. The gloves will protect us from using hand sanitizer all day and drying out our hands. When our employees are ready to leave, we're going to reverse the process. We'll remove our coveralls first, then we'll wash our hands, spray our shoes down to exit. The PPE we're using to protect ourselves are a respirator or N95 mask, a lab coat to protect our clothes, gloves to protect our hands, and eye protection. This is stuff we use already in the process of knife making. We've added a few things for the virus protocol. Before we start working at any station, we're going to wipe it down with a bleach solution, make sure we wash our hands throughout the day, and after using any station, we're going to wipe it down again with a bleach solution. Our surface cleaning protocol comes from the CDC recommendations. We're going to wash it with soap and water, rinse it with clean water, and then spray a bleach solution on and allow that to air dry to disinfect the whole surface. Here at our shop, we do have an excellent dust collection system for removing the heavy particulates out of the air when we're making knives. This also helps replace all the air in the shop with clean air. This can be replicated if you have windows you can open and use fans to create a cross breeze. We want to make sure all of our knives are safe to send to consumers. When we finish, we're going to disinfect each knife with a high proof alcohol spray and let that air dry. Then we're going to clean and oil our knives and let those sit for three to five days before sending them out. To summarize some of the steps we've taken, we want to maintain social distancing even while at work. Respirators and personal protective equipment are to be worn at all times. We're going to limit the number of employees in our facility at any given time. And we're going to adapt our workplace to limit touching of surfaces and doors.